Hello everyone, Gomrath here, and I look very morose on my horse, but I am going to be showing you all the best pets in the Broken Isles. Now, keep in mind this is a little subjective because this is my opinion, but I'll just be talking about the pets in each zone and recommending ones to pick up, and I wanted to start here in Dalaran. And in Dalaran, there's I think only really three wild caught pets, that's the Blind Rat, the Young Mutant War Turtle, and the Dust Bunny. Now, what I love about the Dust Bunny is it's got basically the same moveset as all rabbits, except here it's got this cool ability called Smoke Bomb. And what it is is it's a move that protects your entire team, um, and it always goes first. So if you ever go up against, like, you know, maybe these Fragments of Anger... And he's going to be using uh, Soul Fire Beam. It'll protect all of your pets from that attack. Instead of if you were just to use Dodge, you'd only dodge it on your first player. So, anyway, just kind of a cool little pet. Uh, also, he looks cool because he's all dustified. I mean, he's just a gray bunny and he glows a little bit dusty. And the way that you get him is on occasion, you can walk into the barber shop. Let me dismount here. And there will be a rug right here, and you right-click on the rug. Now, the rug that I actually accidentally clicked on and scared out some dust bunnies was this one right over here. Yeah, I was doing a quest that required me to come in here, and there was a rug back there, and I just right-clicked on it, and it spawned all the bunnies, and I'd been looking for them for a long time, so it was kind of cool. So... That's how you get the bunny, and then the other two pets on this list, I'd actually recommend snagging. One, because the young mutant ninja turtle, mine's named Leonardo, looks awesome, okay? You can't tell here, but watch when I summon this guy. Look at this guy. He's got the swords on his back, he's got the little headband, looks up at me. Oh, isn't that adorable? Yeah, he's awesome. And then there's the blind rat. Now, the way that you can get... Hire a bodyguard because I'm a wiener. Uh, the way you pick up the mutant ninja turtle is you have to use a bunch of eyes to summon them. From this lady right here, it's like 1,500 eyes to summon four of them. But I got lucky enough, and one time I just walked down here and there was four of them lined up. Well, there's three of them, and so I caught them. Uh, and then the blind rat. He's the other guy who I want to talk about. Now the blind rat is the exact same as the phosphor rat. Stupid board game. And there's not a spurn on the alliance because I need to be more politically correct and not estrange possible viewers. But if that was a horde wolf, it wouldn't be attacking me. That's all I'm saying. So the blind rat, he's down there, but he's just the same as the frost fur rat that's found out in uh, Frostfire Ridge. You know, exactly the same stat wise, except he's got a ton of breeds. And I think the Frostfur Rat has less breeds than that. Let's see. My Frostfur Rat. Nope. They both have the exact same number of breeds. So, literally, they're exact same pet. But I'd still recommend picking up a Power Power breed and a Speed Speed breed and a Power Speed breed. I really love the Speed Speed breed because it's got 341 attack, which is faster than just about everything in the game, uh, except flying type pets and rabbits. And the cheetah but literally I've never ever seen a cheetah the entire time I've played so the rest of the pets here um, like these are engineering pets I'm not sure why they're showing up on the list and then some of these show up from pet achievements yeah that one's from the drain or the broken isles safari so I think that'll do it for Dalarand all right we are in Azuna Matata what a wonderful place. A place where no worries. And I don't remember the rest of the song. But that's pretty typical of me as I forget the lyrics to most songs. So we're over here in Azuna. And there are a ton of pets over here. But the pets that I would talk about getting are these two magic type pets. So the difference between these two Eldritch Mana Fields and the Eurydite Mana Field is the last ability. So on the Eldritch, which is the power speed breed, he has Soul Rush. And the Erudite Mana Field, I think that's how you say that, he's got Consume Magic, which just heals yourself. 
and removes all debuffs. So that's kind of a cool ability. But they're nothing spectacular. Uh, the Kelp Scuttler, he's a decent pet. He's got like, you know, the same thing as all of the Draenor crabs. And then he's got the Rip Blood in the Water with the 357 attack. So he's literally a clone of all the other uh, crabs that are in that area. And I don't think there's anything else special in this zone. The jumping spider, nope. Same as all other spiders. But this zone does have the coastal sandpiper, which I think is kind of a cool bird. It's a, kind of a cool flying pet. It's got sandstorm and it's got quicksand. I don't know if any other pets have quicksand. Quicksand. Okay, one other pet does, and it's the living sandling. So, this guy's just a cool looking guy. He's, you know, got a unique character model. I've never seen a pet like that before. And then he's got Flock, which is the flying equivalent of Stampede or Swarm. And he's got a priority attack. So, I'd go for a power speed breed on this guy, honestly, rather than a speed speed. Because, I've said before, but you don't need to prioritize speed as a base stat on flying type pets. Just because... For the vast majority of the time that you're using them, you have your racial active. And that'll do it for Azuna Matata. I am in Valshara, which is a cool zone. It's really pretty. I like the music. The quests are cool. And it also has a super awesome lore backstory. So I'm just getting away from that main area. This is one of my least favorite areas to be on a PvP server, like this zone in particular. I can't tell you how many times I've been killed. Um, but let's talk, a pet, uh, talk about the pets in this area. So the first pet I want to talk about is this Gleamha Fawn, okay? Now I have not farmed for the Power Power breed, but there was a team that I went against that they were all running big heals. And this guy was running Bleat, Nature's Ward, and I can't remember what his first slot was. Probably either Hoof or Stampede. But he's running Bleed and Nature's Ward. And the Power Power Breed has 325 power, which is really solid. And then he's got baseline health and speed. So he doesn't have any, like, bad stat. And on some healing teams, he can be really, or she, I don't know the gender of that small little critter. But can be really, really effective. So I would definitely pick up a Gleam Hoof Fawn and go for a Power Power Breed for some PvP fights um, if you're into healing teams. Healing teams kind of drive me crazy because your whole focus is just to outlast everybody and just to switch into all your pets and use your heals and it kind of drives me absolutely crazy. So that's why my team, my go-to team counters healings. Um, and then, okay. But as far as uh, Valshara goes, just snag yourself a Gleam Hoof Fawn and get a Power Power Breed. Other than that, the uh, pets here are just your run in the mill, all the rest of them. Alright guys, we are out in High Mountain. Now High Mountain actually has some great pets. Um, it's got, I think my favorite pet of the expansion, which is the Northern Hawk Owl. I use this guy all the time because he's really really powerful he's got some great baseline speed and i use him to primarily counter the tarot claw hatchling in pvp and he also looks awesome you know i mean i would name him hedwig if he was white but since he's kind of like grayish i just named him pigwidgeon after the little owl in harry potter so he is found up here by the uh Let's see, Iron Horn Enclave. So if you're a blacksmith, you have to go up there for quests. All right, the other pet that I would definitely recommend picking up is if you have not found yourself an SS breed of a rabbit, this is where you can get one, okay? There's only three breeds of breeds available for the mountain cottontail, and you can either catch them in the Red Ridge Mountains at like level three or four or something, some real low, or you can catch them up in the high 20s here in High Mountain. And they're just a fantastic pet to have, and I recommend everybody have at least one SS breed. Now, another great pet is the Mudshell Conch, okay? And there are a few pets in the game, or snails in the game, that have the health power breed. One of them is found, I think it's Darkshore, the Darkshore snail. He has the chance to roll health power. Um, 
but other than that most other snails are like health balanced or health speed or there's even some speed speed snails which by the way is horrible never use one they are legitimately garbage uh you know the echo battling can be kind of cool in some unique situations um and you, know, you could use him on some Call Darkness teams, possibly. But it would stop his Leech Life from being really effective. I don't know. He's a flying type that's got three different moves. Or three different families of moves to pull from. So that's always nice. But I would definitely pick yourself up either a Long Eared Owl or the Northern Hawk Owl. I like the Northern Hawk Owl because it comes in one breed. And that's the breed that I want. And I've talked about the Mud Jumper before. He's also found out in uh, Spires of Iraq and in Talador. Uh, so he's all over Draenor. Um, he's a very solid anti undead pet. And Beaver, meh. Not fantastic. You know, so out of High Mountain, I would just stick with if you don't have an SS hair, find a Mountain Cottontail. Get a health power mud shell conch, a power speed long eared owl or northern hawk owl, and then on your mud jumper, um, I have one of each. But I actually kind of like the balance balance breed here just because it's a little bit faster and undeads are notoriously slow. So having that little bit extra speed is nice. And I mean, it's only three more speed. You know what? Nope, I lied. Just go with the health balance. There's more stats always. So that'll do it for High Mountain. All right, we've made our way over here to Stormheim. This is actually something I'm really excited to talk about. So this guy right here, the Rose Taipan, has an SS breed, okay? Now he has almost identical moves to the Death Adder Hatchling, which during Mr. Pandaria was so broken. He was like the best pet out there. He was fantastic, you know, he had blind, would run poison fang, puncture wound, and he just hit way, way hard. So, this guy also has paralyzing venom, which isn't quite as effective as blinding poison. I mean, it's one, it's got one down, or excuse me, it's got one less round cooldown, but only stops them from attacking for one round. This, on the other hand, stops them attacking for two rounds. So, I think Blinding Poison is a better choice over Paralyzing Venom. But this guy is fantastic. If you're at all into using him in a variety of different teams. Also, for a while, the Death Adder Hatchling was selling for like 60,000 gold. Especially the Speed Speed breed. So, you don't have to buy one. Here, let me pull up my Death Adder. Death Adder Hatchling, yeah. Speed, speed, breed. Exactly the same. So instead of having Burrow in this slot, he has that Paralyzing Strike or whatever it is. Rosa Tappen. Paralyzing Venom. So definitely want to pick yourself up a speed, speed, breed of one of these. I also have a Power, Power breed. Uh, I think it was the first one I ran across, and it was rare, so I was like, oh, I've got to capture this one, even though I was looking for the speed, speed. Uh, the other pet to snag here is the so Stormstruck Beaver. Okay, This guy hits like a truck. Most beavers in the game are garbage, with an exception of this guy. Uh, his buried treasure, honestly, is kind of wasted on him because, as a power power breed, heals are greater, but not when they're just based on percentage. If you had a health health version of this guy, buried treasure would be healing for significantly more than if it was a power power. So, uh, definitely want to snag yourself one of these. Um, and then, as far as the other pets go, so the difference is this guy has Hawkeye, and then this guy has Preen. And you know, Preen actually isn't a bad move to have on this guy, because there's a power power. You restore 379 health. That is a giant chunk. And increase your damage. I, yeah, you know what? I would pick up a Golden Eaglet. Go for a power power breed, because I love pure breeds, as you know by now. And then the two crabs here, these are just clones of all the Draenor ones but that'll do it for stormheim so top picks for stormheim golden eaglet stormstruck beaver and the rose taipan 
All right, we have made our way into Suromar, another place that I get killed very frequently by Alliance. Not to say that you should just leave people alone, especially when they're wearing a safari hat, because it's saying, hey, I'm out here doing pet battles. Let's just have some peace and love in the world, okay? So out of all these guys, I would try to find yourself a power spread version of the crystalline broodling, because I don't know, yeah, you don't come in a power balance, and you do not come in health power balance. You know, health balance also wouldn't be terrible for this particular breed. Um, but catch yourself these spiders. Also, the f flammerling moth. Okay, this guy's kind of cool because he's got an elemental attack. So he's a flying type who's strong versus machines. And he has a big heal because he's got a decent, decent power rating. It heals a little bit more than a basic attack. So, actually, just snag every single pet in Suramar. But that'll do it for the Broken Isles. Now, there's a lot of other pets that you can get from the shop and um, from different factions. But these are the ones that are the wild-caught pets. As always, it was a pleasure gaming with you. If you found this video helpful, a like rating is always appreciated. If you feel like there was pets that I didn't include on this list, or if there was anything that I wasn't clear on, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, and what it is that you're exactly looking for. You guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you soon.